Hey everyone, this is Anne with cnsave.com and in this video I'm going to be talking about how you can make money with Amazon Associates. I mentioned Amazon Associates in one of my recent 12 Days of Christmas vlogs and I asked if you guys wanted me to explain that to you and the overwhelming response was yes, don't know what that is, never heard of it, please explain Amazon Associates. So that's what this video is. So if you have a blog, website, YouTube channel, you're active on social media, you can be making money with Amazon Associates and I'm gonna tell you how. So what the heck is Amazon Associates? Amazon Associates is Amazon's affiliate network. Basically, you can create an account and then you are provided with personalized referral links and when you share those referral links out and somebody clicks through those links and makes a purchase on Amazon, you earn a commission. Now, I'm a daily deal blogger, so on my blog at cnsave.com, I'm posting coupons, freebies. I also post Kindle freebies and deals and Amazon deals, and I post my personalized referral links. When somebody clicks through one of those links and makes a purchase, I earn a commission. So I also can share those links out on social media. Sometimes I put them in my YouTube videos. So there are a wide range of things that I can do with Amazon Associates to earn money. Now, most retailers do affiliate marketing and networking like this. Most, however, belong to an affiliate network that represents many retailers. So I belong to several affiliate networks. Some of them represent like 100 retailers. Others represent thousands. So in each of these networks, I then have access to companies, brands, and I can get personalized links. And when I share those links online, whether it's blog, YouTube, social media, and someone makes a purchase, I earn a commission. With Amazon Associates, there's no middleman. There's no network to belong to. They are the network. They're their own. They're definitely the largest. They're the most popular. They're certainly the easiest to use. I make the most money with Amazon Associates compared to all of my other networks, and that's just because Amazon is so huge. Most people shop on Amazon. There's a ton of products, and there are a ton of ways to uh, share your referral links. So. Again, if you have a website, a blog, you're on YouTube, you're on social media, it's a really easy way that you can earn money. So you can earn money through any referral link that you use. What this means is that if sometimes, well, every day, I post um, deals on my blog. I'll, I have been doing, I kind of like this, the, my favorite top 10 deals of the day on Amazon. And I will use my referral link to link to all of those. Now, let's say you go to my blog, you look at that list of deals, and you click through one of them, and you go on the site, and you're like, oh, it's good, I don't really want that. But then you buy something else. Because you went through my link to get to Amazon, whatever you buy, I earn a commission on. So it's not just about driving traffic to certain products, it's just about people going through your link. And what I do is uh, use my link in two ways on my blog. First of all, I have an ad unit on the front page of my blog. If you go to cnsave.com on the right side, there is an Amazon ad unit, and I'm gonna turn the camera on and I'll show you what that looks like. So here we are over on my blog at cnsave.com. When you scroll down, there is an Amazon ad unit. I currently have one advertised in Amazon Prime, but there are lots of different ones that you can choose from, and I change mine every, every now and then. So when anybody clicks through on this ad and goes to Amazon and makes a purchase, any purchase at all, I earn a commission. What I also do is I create links directly to Amazon products. Up here, I do a daily post of the free Kindle books and the daily deals for the day. Anyone who clicks through any of these links, whether it's a free book or the paid books or my books, if they make a purchase, I earn a commission because they went through my link. So two easy ways with the ad unit or to individual products. So on my blog, I'm using the ad unit and I'm linking to individual products. But again, I don't have to sell those products specifically. It's just about people going to Amazon and making a purchase when they go through my referral link. So if you have a blog or a website and you're not a daily deal blogger like me, you can still use that Amazon ad unit. Just that ad unit alone, I average about $40 a month just on that ad unit. That has grown over time as my blog has grown. Certainly not a huge number, I know, but as my blog continues to grow, it gets a little bit more, a little bit more. For the links to individual products, that varies widely. I've had months where I've made hundreds of dollars. I've had months where I made $100. It completely depends, again, on people going through if they make a purchase or not, or what they buy. I've had months where people have gone through my link 
and they bought computers. I didn't post the computer, but they went through my link and ended up buying a computer. I had a month where I did put a toy kitchen, a really fancy children's toy kitchen, um, and several people bought that. I made quite a bit of money. Next month, people went on, they bought like little things, like two, three dollar items. They're prime members, they could get it shipped for free. So the commissions weren't as big. But again, uh, it's something I'm doing anyway. Again, I'm a daily deal blogger, so this is the stuff I use anyway. So it's just another way that blogging earns me income. So if you are a blogger, a website, you at least want to get that Amazon ad unit on there. Uh, and then as you're writing about things, uh, maybe you're not posting daily deals, but maybe there are things that you mention that you want to link to. Uh, if you don't have a blog or website or you're like me and you have that and YouTube and social media, uh, other ways that I use Amazon associate links are here on YouTube. Now, if you follow my blogs or have watched my videos before, you know I will talk sometimes about putting a link in the description bar. Uh, I do that quite often with things that I am specifically showing and get asked about. And this is, I'm gonna talk a little bit more about this in a minute about being authentic because I'm linking products that I'm actually showing you that I get questions about and that would seem silly if I didn't show you the link. So I often will link a digital scale for selling on eBay. I have linked to that Cuisinart ice cream maker all the time that I use to make my frozen drinks because I get asked about it all the time. So it's not about just throwing out willy-nilly links all over. You want to be authentic. So if you are making videos and you're specifically mentioning something, then yes, it makes sense to put your links. It doesn't make sense if you're doing a vlog and you start linking everything. Like I show, I link to that frozen drink maker, but I'm not also linking to my fridge, my stove, my microwave, the blender. I'm specifically talking about something people are interested because I get a bazillion questions. That makes sense to put the link. I also have a section on my blog where I uh, talk about how to make money on eBay. At the bottom of that, I list all of the, uh, supplies that I use and I have created links to those on Amazon using little ad blocks and I'm going to turn the camera on again and I'll show you what those look like. So here is the make money on eBay section on my blog. I'll scroll down. I have links to my eBay books. Here's a little tip for you. If you have Kindle books, you can link your own books. I have here. Click through that link. If somebody buys a book that I've linked to, I not only earn the Amazon Associates Commission, but I, on top of that, I'm earning money from the sale of the book as the publisher of it. So not only do I get my publishing income, but I also make a little on the Amazon Associates. There's a little tip for you. If you um, have books, you can link to your own books <laughs> through your associate link. Get a little more money out of them. Scroll down here. Then I have my uh, YouTube eBay playlist. And at the bottom, I have my tools that I use. Now I have created ad links to all of these on Amazon. So I have the Sharpies I use, bubble wrap, clothing rack, boxes, camera, digital scale, printer, newsprint, shelving, tape, bubble mailers, mannequin head, tape, storage unit, or storage boxes, things that I use that I've purchased on Amazon. Again, that I get asked about. I can't tell you how many times people ask about a printer or ask about a digital scale, or what kind of shelving I use. So I've created these little ad boxes here at the bottom. Again, if somebody clicks through and buys one of these products, I earn a commission, or they click through and they buy something else on Amazon, and I earn the same commission. So in addition to using Amazon Associates directly on my blog and on YouTube, I also sometimes utilize the program to share links directly to social media, bypass the blog, bypass YouTube, just go straight to Twitter and to Facebook. And I'm gonna turn the camera around again and I'll show you how easy that is to do. So once you have an Amazon account, you can create links two ways. You can go to the main Amazon Associates page where all of your account information is, you can create ad blocks, search for products. But when I'm already knowing the item I want to advertise, I just go directly to Amazon. And because I'm signed in through my account, I have access to my referral links right at the top of the page. I can create a short URL and I can also share to Facebook and Twitter. Twitter's what shows up automatically. So here I am on my Amazon author page. I could use 
short link to this page and I could copy that code, make an active link on my blog, or I can just go to share here and it would bring up my Twitter account. Visit amazon.com's Anna Cart page and shop for my books with my referral link and I tweet it out. So in this case, not only have I promoted my books, which I will make a sale on, but if anybody goes to that link, I will also earn Amazon associate income. So having this um, portal right here where I can just easily create links or just share directly is super easy to do. And this is mainly what I do if I know exactly the product I want. I just skip the Amazon associates main section and just create the links here because it's a lot faster and easier. So I know I mentioned about how the income can vary widely. Some months I'll make a lot, some months not so much. Um, that also corresponds not only to what people are buying or if they're buying, but also to the level of commission I'm earning. So when you start with Amazon Associates, I think you start at 4% commission. However, that goes up. The more sales you make over time, you start increasing. I'm currently at 7% commission, and I only have... What did it say? 50 years or so more sales until I get to 7.5%. I'm not sure what it tops out as. I should have looked that up before I logged on here, but eventually it will top out. However, you have the opportunity to grow. You keep at it, your commissions get higher. And again, like I've shown you, creating those links is super easy. Again, you don't have to have the blog or the website. If you're here on YouTube, you can use it, or you can just share out things via Twitter, uh, that short link, method I showed you. Uh, sometimes I'll just copy that link and I'll take it over to Facebook and I will link it there on my page and it'll bring up, um, you know, one of my books or another product. Again, somebody clicks through that and if they make a purchase, whether the item I showed or something else, earn a commission. So it's easy to use. You can use it on all kinds of platforms. It's the largest affiliate network there is out there. So blog, website, YouTube, social media, you definitely want to get in and use Amazon Associates. However, with that, I do want to make two important notes. First of all is your FTC disclosure, Ugh. Federal Trade Commission disclosure. If you are putting any links in your YouTube videos or on a blog or a website, you need to disclose that they may be affiliate links. If you go to the description bar at the bottom of this video, the very bottom, I have a disclosure that says, this is not a sponsored video, all items were paid for on my own, links may contain referrals. Because sometimes I don't have referral links. Although, well, no, I shouldn't say that because my books are linked in all of my videos and those are through my referral. Okay, so I always do. But you want to, you have to have that um, under your video if you're doing any kind of affiliate marketing, no matter what it is, you need to disclose. If a company has sent you something for free, you need to disclose it. I have done videos where uh, the company has sent me something for free and I have to change that and I have to put, this item was given to me for free, but all opinions are my own, which differentiates between it being a sponsored video. Sponsored video means you're gonna say whatever the advertiser wants. With Amazon Associates, any links I put, the links may contain referrals, at the bottom covers that. Same thing if you have a blog or a website. If you follow my blog, you will see at the bottom of my posts that I have links may contain referrals, even when they don't. I still put that in uh, and it goes to my disclosure policy. So that's really important. You need to make sure that you are disclosing that any of the links in your description bar may have referrals. So I have my whole description bar verbiage in Word. And then when I go to make a video, I just copy and paste it all over so everything is intact. The other thing I want to stress is authenticity. Be authentic in what you're sharing out. Now, again, I'm a daily deal blogger, so putting Amazon deals on my blog and Kindle books is what I do anyway. Um, however, I'm looking for things that actually appeal to my audience. Most of the people who read my blog are women. Let's just face it. There are some guys out there. I appreciate you. But most of the couponers, for example, all the online shopping, it's mainly women. It would be really weird if I started posting deals to automotive parts or complicated electronic stuff because my main rule with my blog is that the deals have to be something that either I have personally taken advantage of, I want to take advantage of, or that I would tell my friends and family, hey, you need to do this deal. 
So I don't put anything that I can't stand 100% behind. I test out things a lot uh, with my other networks. You see me test Omaha Steaks and Cheryl's Cookies and subscription boxes that I buy with my own money to test out before I share those affiliate links on my blog. And the same thing with Amazon. Well, I might not test or buy everything I post. Obviously, I'd be broke. But I'm looking for things that appeal to my audience and appeal actually to me. Is this something I would buy? Is this something I have bought? Would I be calling my friends and family and say, you got to get on Amazon and get this deal. It's awesome. That's what I put on my blog. So it needs to fit your audience, whatever it is you're blogging about or your website's about or you're making YouTube videos about. Again, digital scale, Cuisinart frozen drink maker. Those are the kind of links I put on the video because I'm showing them. People are asking about them. The one time I didn't put the link to that dang Cuisinart machine, I got questions. Where's that machine at? Where's the machine at? So I'm like, you know what? Here's the link. Do I sell a lot of those? No. I don't even know that I've sold any of them. Some people have gone through that link and bought something else, and that's how I've earned a commission. But you want to stay authentic. You know, the authentic authenticity comes first. You make money in the long run. That's great. It's awesome. But if you don't, it's about being authentic on your uh, social media and your web presence. That's super important. So let's see. I think that covers everything. I will put the link to Amazon Associates below. I don't think it's a referral link. It's just the link to it. I think anybody can sign up. I don't, I think anybody can create an account. Um, you get paid two months after the month you earn the commission in. So my January money will come at the end of the month. It actually comes the same day my Kindle income comes. So January money will be from my November sales. So every one who purchased something through my affiliate link in November, I'm going to get that money at the end of January. So it's two months out. So if that makes sense. Um, and it's a super easy, fast way to earn some income. So let me know. Do you already use Amazon Associates? Are you going to sign up for it? Do you have a blog, website, YouTube channel, social media? What kinds of things do you think you might be able to provide to people to let them know products you know and stand behind that you can also maybe share those referral links and make some money. I'd love to hear your feedback below. Disclose everything. Don't forget to make those disclosures that they are, you are using referral links and be authentic. You stick to those two things, you know, hey, great. You might make some extra money. Easy, free, you don't have to pay anything to join, so why not do it? So I hope this helped you guys who are interested in Amazon Associates. Questions or comments, leave them below. You like these how to make money on line videos, give this one a thumbs up and I can do more in the future. So yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Go out there, get your links and start making some extra money.